sure how long it's been since I checked in with you guys and did like a little prep physique update but as you guys saw in the last clip i think hopefully i do um i look leaner than the last time i did check in with you guys um i'm really happy with my progress i'm happy with the way this prep has gone honestly this has been the best prep to date so far even though i'm still really far out and i'm it's only been i think six or seven weeks since i started prepping but just it's been such a smooth road and I don't want to sit here and brag and make it seem like it's an easy journey because it definitely isn't. It comes with a lot of mental struggles and obviously sacrifices, but so far compared to the previous preps that I've had, this one has been, has been incredible. Um, I don't know if it's the fact that I have a coach uh, for the first time in two years or the fact that I'm just in a really good place mentally and a really good place with myself and how I see myself, but... Needless to say, it's just been great so far and I hope it carries out to be this way. Uh, as of right now, my macros are still at 180 grams of carbs, 140 grams of protein, and 45 grams of fat. Um, cardio is still 900 calories a week, so nothing honestly has changed yet. My body has continued to progress week to week. Um, I've been dropping 1 to 1.5 pounds, which is usually what I recommend. Obviously, if you are in like a rush to cut down because you didn't give yourself enough time to prep, one, you shouldn't do that. But if you are doing that, then obviously the weight ratio would be different than mine. And even then, you shouldn't be comparing your fat loss, weight loss ratio to mine because everyone's different. Previous years, I would lose like 0.5 pounds if that um a week so that just goes to show that you can't compare yourself to other people can't compare your journey and even me i can't compare my journey to last year's or the year before because it's different every year is different every year your body has evolved has changed and, and sorry <laughs> obviously as the years change your physique gets better um, you might have less fat to lose, which is my case right now. Previous preps, I've had around like 20 pounds to lose. So actually my first prep, I only had like, I actually bulked into my prep. And then at seven weeks out, we started cutting down. I got to like 125 and got back down to like 115, I think it was. So um, that's because I was really small for my first prep, but that's a different video. I'll talk about um, my journey and how it all started and where I was then and where I am now. So I'm not gonna get into that right now, but um, yeah, last couple of years, it's been a 20 pound, 25 pound fat loss, fat loss that um, I've had to do. So this prep, I started at, I think, seven or eight pounds over my stage weight i was at 128 or 130 something like that it's really hard because i started right after the 10,000 calorie challenge so obviously my weight was like fluctuating like crazy because my body just didn't know what to do with all the food that i had eaten but um i started at that point so it was like either like seven to ten pounds to lose and as of right now, I'm down to 124 pounds. So I was 121 last time I was on stage. So if we're going by last year's stage weight, I'm literally like three pounds away from my stage weight. But now that I am dealing with a pro circuit, I do want to come in even leaner than I have the past two years. So I'm going to assume that we're going to bring in my physique at around 115 pounds, which is scary to think because that's really light for me but i can only imagine where my body will be once i get to that point because i do need my legs to come in a lot more my glutes more than anything it's an area i struggle with a lot my shoulders um my rear delts and my triceps are a part that i struggle with a lot too i'm making it sound like every single part but like my midsection is what leans out the fastest and then the rest just comes with time so i'm glad i have time i'm around 16 weeks out right now so Time is definitely on my side and with the way that everything is going so far, I can only imagine where I'm going to be once um, Prog Pro does come around. So all in all, I'm really happy with the way that everything's going. I have never seen my body just progress this fast, but it's definitely cool and amazing to see it respond so fast. Um, and the fact that I did start at a leaner point this year makes it a lot better as well. So I would definitely recommend staying within like five to 10 pounds off from your stage weight. If you do plan on competing consistently like year every single year, because it does help. 
Um, the less fat you have to lose, the better prep is going to be mentally, physically, macro-wise. Like, it's not going to be as hard and you're not going to have to put so much stress on your body. So I definitely recommend that. Um, if you're a competitor and you don't know where to go in your off season, um, the previous years I did gain quite a bit of fat, but that was all planned. It wasn't like a bad rebound. I usually just slowly reverse dieted up until that point. Do I think it's necessary to do that? Not necessarily. It is good to put on some body fat, but it's not necessary to go 20 pounds over stage weight. Like that's a lot. So, um, Physique wise and progress wise, that's where I'm at. Um, as for my structure meal plan, I haven't been following it for about a week and a little bit right now. It hasn't stopped my progress at all. I'm still progressing exactly the same as I was when I was following the structure meal plan. So will I go back to it? Mm, probably not because I feel like comparing my progress right now to what I was doing back when I was following exactly the same meal plan, it hasn't changed, so I don't see the point in having to go back to that. I thought it was working a lot better until I kind of was forced into going back into my flexible dieting routine because I was in Toronto and I didn't have certain meal choices, so I just kind of went with what I had. So seeing my body respond the way it has, I feel like I don't need to go back to a structured meal plan. If I do need to, I will, but as of right now, I feel like it's not benefiting me in any way. Um, I feel like I'm progressing regardless, so I'll probably just keep things how they are right now. Um, I am going to be traveling quite a bit in the next few weeks, couple of months, so the structure meal plan might come back for that. As you guys know, when I like to travel, I do like to keep a just a one meal plan that way I don't have to prep all kinds of random foods. I'm gonna be in Miami with P Science. I will let you guys know more about that and the event details so you guys can come and say hi if you are in the area. For the Miami dates, I'll be there on June 25th. It's an event, I'm not too sure what kind of event it is. I know it has to do with P Science, so I'll let you guys know about it when I know more about it. And I'm also gonna be in California at the end of July for a couple photo shoots. But yeah, so, during those times, I will most likely have a structure plan to follow, but other than that, that's literally what prep has been about. Um, my strength has been going up. Uh, my workout routines honestly haven't changed too much. I'm still training four times a week. I'm doing two lower body, two upper body. As you guys know, my workouts are super basic, literally nothing too fancy, but it does the job. It works amazing for me. And we've just been focusing on adding weight to every lift and improving my lifts week to week. And I feel like my physique is responding really well to that. So that's why we've stuck to that. No reason to change something if it's working, right? So. Um, that's still the same. He did add some new moves to my lower body and my upper body workouts So I will film those for you guys within the coming prep vlogs and Yeah, uh, this one's getting long so I'm gonna wrap it up right here But that's just like a little prep update a little talk with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, If you enjoyed this video and if you have been enjoying my content then make sure you subscribe and if you did like the video as well, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay more updated with my prep, my progress, everything like that, then make sure you're following my social media. Um, I'll put my Instagram and Twitter down right here. And that's about it, guys. And I also, before I wrap up this video, I wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to my videos. Um, thank you so much to everyone that has subscribed and hello to all of you new subscribers. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying my videos. If you guys have any kind of criticism, constructive hopefully, um, any comments for me, any questions you want to ask me, make sure to leave them down below because I love getting back to you guys. I love giving back to you guys. So anything I can do to help you guys in your journey, I love to do. So just let me know. And yeah. That's basically it for this video. So again, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate all the support that I get from you guys. And I definitely couldn't do what I do without all of you. So thanks again and I'll see you guys next video.